Forbidden Planet Morbius House DIY model. I always knew I'd get round to doing a model of this house one day. I was just waiting for the right materials, the right stuff. Forbidden Planet is probably the best 1950s sci-fi movie. The house is a bit ambiguous. It looks different from the outside, the shape, the size, to what it does on the inside. But that doesn't matter. I've made quite a few things from Forbidden Planet over the years. Using the junk and stuff that I usually use. I collected a few items. But the house I've been waiting to do. And I got a hold of a load of uh, video cassette tapes. The small ones that were around, I'm not sure about the 1990s or the early 2000s. The little cassettes you used to put into a larger adapter for a, for a camcorder. And I used those cases to start off the shape of the house. I really like the little hinged doors on the cassettes and it made it look a bit like the uh, the sort of open plan aspect of the building. For the upper level I just used bits and pieces with no particular plan. I didn't try and do a design as such, I just used stuff that I thought looked cool, not even trying to suggest oh this is the bedroom, this is a lounge or whatever, just random and the shapes, plastic card covered in yellow tape for texture. So good textures going on, I already had uh, the plastic cassette tapes, um, now I had um, electrical tape and then there's paper mache, uh, lots of transparent plastic, uh, really enjoyed the textures on this model. For some of the inside detail I used dominoes, uh, bits of um, computer keys, uh, bits and pieces from curtain rails, uh, Christmas fairy light decorations, just anything that looked good. Straws, uh, uh, a coffee a jar lid, everything and all the rocks of paper mache painted and set onto a board base. I had to figure out where I wanted to do the little road and the uh, the landscape around the house including the pond at the back. As I say it's all a bit ambiguous in the film so just made my own mind up how I wanted to represent it and not try to be accurate as such to one way or another how things should look. And that in included even like the staircase you know I just used the stuff that I had and enjoyed it. Not worried about trying to be accurate. I like the way the house kind of almost looks like a some kind of airport terminal building or you know it kind of also looks like an octopus from certain you know angles uh, very unusual and I really like it and that's why I always wanted to get around to doing a model of it so this board base is about three feet wide by about one and a half feet I was given a pack of cactus sort of gravel um, stuff that's used uh, for uh, cactus and succulents and uh, I think aquariums and things. So I spread that all over the driveway and just stuck it down with varnish. Um, and then these great, I, had, I was also given these great little packs of um, miniature uh, flowers, which I think are used for card making or gift making and I just wrapped them up and made them up into little trees uh, to put around the garden and dot dotted around the diorama and I also painted glitter, used glitter paint to paint over the rocks so it's kind of almost finished now I really enjoyed making it and I'll do some figures of Morbius and the, uh, the uh, crew arriving in the tractor to visit him maybe even do a tiny little I'll be the robot eventually to go with it but a very satisfying model to make from a real classic 1950s sci-fi film mm -hmm.